welcome back to part three of our 24-hour in-game time tumbleweed hunt. As you can see, we're pulling in $235.82 per hour, 762 XP per hour, over this 10-minute and 14-second period. That's pretty decent, making $40.22 in 10 minutes and 14 seconds. You know, that's almost back to the whole cougar days, where you could go out and get a cougar and make, you know, $24, $22 every, you know, six, seven minutes. This is actually comparable to before 1.06. Now, keep in mind the hunting time, 12.45 p.m. to 6 p.m. in-game time. That's very important to pay attention to here. It's so like I've mentioned in part one and part two, the birds that were hunting only spawn during the daytime. Now, I came out here, and I looked around, and I didn't find any birds up here this time. You know, this is a continuation directly off part two. I haven't free roamed or anything in between runs. So I come up here, I'm like, well, there's no birds. I'm going to shoot a couple rabbits. Sometimes that attracts vultures. So hopefully, you know, just give it a second. And I, I keep looking away from... Wrath's Color's Fork, because stuff doesn't really spawn on screen when you're looking, and lo and behold, looky there. You see that big bird on top of the roof, right in the center of the roof? I got a bird to spawn. It's just that easy. They'll spawn, you don't have to be that far away. You just look away and you look back. It's kind of like the way we used to spawn spin cougars. It works, you know. You saw in episode two, me do kind of the same thing. I came up here, I didn't see anything. See those pheasants right there, they have animal fat, if you need animal fat. And look back here, you know, there's a hawk. Oh, there's two hawks. So now, I mean, <laughs> th these all weren't here just a moment ago. I go kill a couple rabbits, and they all spawn in. Now, this is just really good money in here. I mean, this, it, this is really good money. I, I don't know of any other methods right now that are going to beat this cash-wise. That's legit. You know, there might be some sort of a glitch or an exploit somewhere, but like cash-wise, legit hunting, I mean, it's going to be hard to beat this. Like, you might find something that's close to it, you know, on par to it, but to beat it, I mean, it's it's going to be tough. So, this might be like the new hunting, this might be like the 1.06 hunting meta, so to speak. I don't know. And the, I, from my understanding, carcass fishing is no longer a thing. So hopefully, you know, that you can get a kick out of this. If you need some cash fast, it might be your option. But unfortunately, it's only going to work during daylight hours. During nighttime, you know, maybe try hunting some cougars over on the map where it says Trolla Springs. And after I skin these up, I look up and there's a condor flying overhead. You know, you never know what's going to spawn in this area. So as you're skinning them... Constantly be looking around. Don't just focus in one area. So it seems like the more you look around, the more likely it is for stuff to spawn. So keep that in mind. Just, like, always be looking around different spots. And a lot of times you'll look one way, and then you'll look back where you were just looking, and something will be there. Now we're going to sell what we got in this 10-minute period. And then we'll be on to part 4 of the series. During part 4, I do a complete summary of of all the hunts combined together so we know what it, you get over a 24-hour period hunting this area. Now, obviously, you could probably do a little better or a little worse. It's just going to be kind of what I got this one hunt. I need to do some more hunts to really get a good average. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new.